out of the ordinary as well. I mean, they're already out. Both teams are already out, so they could... This is more for pride than anything else. It'll be the Sour Blade. I was going to say they could try something a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary, but it looks like it's going to be low skill on the Terror Blade. So, Moby on the Void Spirit. Yeah, Blood Move Across might be actually off-put by the constant invoking. No, Vincento going to be moving through. There is going to be, like, say, 3-4 heroes here, so the Wraith Bio Blast is going to connect with the Dual Breath now as well. Vincento, does he go for Spartan? He's actually going to go for the Curse. So they do pick up a quick First Blood. Reflection comes out, but that doesn't really matter. As mid lane, Moby taking some harass. He's top of the last hits. 10 to the Invoker's 9. He even got himself a, a nice deny in there, too. But Wish... Actually gone for the 2 points into the Resonant Pulse. Only one into the Dissimulate as Spartan gets killed off on the bottom lane. Bloody Scott. So yeah, it's changed his mind. Gonna be the triple null tie into the boots. It makes sense. Like this is seems to be where the, the null is cut off. And then you get your boots up, go for a witch's blade charge. Comes through Vincento. Are they gonna be able to do the damage on the Terror Blade? The Terror Blade used the metamorphosis though. It looks like he's not gonna be able to get himself away. Or maybe they change targets. Vincento is gonna be one. Dual breath comes out, so they might be able to get two. One more right click. Is it gonna be off? No, the furry fire. Keeping low skill alive. Low skill trying to run himself away with the tango. And now Metamorphosis will wear out. Lil, though, is on the hunt. Ethan's way through the tree. He's going to see a courier. One more right click will take that down. And the courier does reveal. Do they have the vision underneath the tier 1 tower, though? Low skill maybe going to try and bait in the Spirit Breaker. He's going to immediately Astral Step himself away here. Takes the silence. Meanwhile, Lil coming into the charge. Vincento. Do you want to go behind the tier 1 tower here? Was that extra bash? He gets it on the first hit. Now the dual breath Vincento is going to be able to get himself away. The Liquid Fire going to burn down this tree. The rest of the team might not be able to do that. But at least low skill. Global Sans comes out. In the middle, are they going to be able to get anything from this? Nefrit takes down Moby. So he's not going to be able to jump out there with the Global Silence. Did Silence? Yeah. Going to be walking. Did he? I mean, the, the ward does see, so Cube's going to be able to get off the Liquid Fire there as well as the Witchblade. Cube going to be taking so much damage. The charge comes out. Sonic Wave going to be committed here. Cube is going to be able to survive through this. As Castle Blast gets a kill onto Lil. And now 11 drops that Macro Pie. Do they have the lockdown with the... It looks like they do. Cube on the back line, so trying to throw out the Multiple Kisses. Which is going to walk right up to him. Point blank. Just take him down. And 11. The urn should keep him alive. Yeah. Take charge is not going to be enough, but he's getting mana at a decent rate. Yeah, it's going to be enough in the next couple of seconds. So Global Silence comes out. The charge still coming through here from the Spirit Breaker. They know exactly where Moby is. Moby's going to try and go for the Astral Step as that charge is coming in. Now the strike, it strikes him out of the Sun Strike. Strike on strike on strikes, or not in this case. This goes back to pushing the mid lane out. Global Sans going to be used. Is this the fight on the bottom lane? It is going to be the Queen of Pain. Yule Scepter comes out for the Queen of Pain. Trying to go for the Blink away. So no PKB early on, but the Yule Scepter going to be just as good for the Global. 11. Tries to get himself away. Meteor is going to be dropped. Dissimulate now as well as the Mortimer Kisses. 11 this time should go down. Yeah, Overgrowth does secure him inside one of the Mortimer Kisses. Easy kill though for the side of Ivy. Cold Stack comes out. Nefret's going to be able to get the kill onto Cube just along the back lines. Wraith Fire Blast now as well. So Nefret takes it. Moby has to run himself away. Six seconds towards the Astral Step. Does he want to go for the career? Does he want to go for heroes? They're both going to be proc by the Ghost Walk. Tornado comes out, connects to the Queen of Pain. Do they have the damage though? It looks like Quap. Well, that Yule Scepter just in case. Charge comes through. He's going to be able to do quick fingers here. Cold Snap as well as the, the Ice Path. Uh, sorry, the Ice Wall. And the Ice Path. So they get the kill onto Bloody Sky. This tier 2 tower does go low. And even with the Living Armor, Eleven should be able to make quick work of this. With the blink back of the Wraith Fire Blast, they're going to be able to take down the Snap Fire. Ice Path even going to be used here to get the kill. Low skill. That Sunder is on cooldown. He's going to go for the early BKB. Do they have enough to take down the Jakiro? 11 will go down. Spartan's going to follow shortly. Net for it. Trying to go for the TP away. No BKB, so just has to go on Faith. And will be able to get himself out. No. Nope. So Lil. Carry on chasing with the Shadow Blade. Just going to scout out Bloody Sky. Does he want to go? It's going to be the instant charge into, once again, outside of the Sunstrike with that Nether Strike. 
Bloody Sky this time, though, not going to be able to get himself away. Opted to Yules off onto Wish. Nature's Grasp just trying to stop the push coming through from the Creep Wave. The Silence onto Void Spirit. Void Spirit has no way to punch this one off. The Meteor's going to drop now as well. The Soul Burn should be enough. And Wish picks up that kill. 19 to 8, 10k net worth lead. The Creeps of this tier 3 tower. 87 health left. The, and again, the Blink comes in from onto the Snapfire. Snapfire just goes down. Brain starts to take control of this game. The charge onto the train protector now going to be cancelled as they just look towards the racks. 23 minutes in. Brain really taking control of this. It's not tornado combo. Low skills going to try and do what he can with the reflection. Age is still up for Wish. Nefrit going to be slowed down. Can he get himself away? There's still a reincarnation out if he can. Ice Pass as well as the Ice Wall being dropped. This looks like he's going to be killed onto Moby. And Nefrit is unstoppable. Now reincarnation will be used. Spartan inside the Monster McKiss as Global Silence comes out. Dual Saptons, Queen of Pain want to go for it. BKB here from Low Skill. Low Skill, what's he going to be able to do? Nefrit just gets the kill. Even without the Sunder coming through, they're going to be able to catch two into the Ice Pass now as well. GG is going to be called. Instant disconnect there from Low Skill. Brain in 25 minutes and 4 seconds take game number 1 against the Tinker. Something maybe with a little bit of lockdown. Storm Spirit maybe? Zeus. Okay. So yeah, if you, if this is potentially their last game here, Ivy, they're trying something different. The pain build is going to be though. Because do you just go for something similar as the last game? Go for a Yules for survivability, add to the catch potential. Okay, never mind. Bottom lane. I'll skip the dive forward here by Nefra onto Bloody Sky. Bloody Sky is going to be able to get himself away from this. The damage coming through from Vincento on level one. So it doesn't have that swarm. So Nefra, he might even turn onto Vincento. Vincento, do they have the reveal? Any dust? Any, any reveals from the sentries? Queen? Okay, not looking for a courage, just looking for the deny to the tower. Are we coming out again? Nefrit maybe just looking for the last hits though. Mid lane. Oh, top lane. It's gonna be kills going either way, but do they want to dive in? Ah, Queen of Pain looks like he was just coming for maybe for secure Vincento. Gonna move up. Sentry is down, so Wish, does he want to go any further onto this? Sakuchi comes up in the next two seconds. Heat sticking missiles coming through, but it's gonna be a lot of damage coming through from the Zeus and Spartan. Gonna be forced here to get himself away. He even has to get himself in tower range to deal with the swarm before he can solve. Say Spartan rotating in now as well. They should be able to do the damage over here. Bloody Sky trying to throw out with the God's Rebuke, trying to do what he can. The laser comes out, dagger, a couple of more right clicks, Queen of Pain. Nefret comes in with the Phantom Strike to secure the kill. Should be able to get his familiars out. Bottom lane though, there's going to be the Rena coming through now as well. God's Wrath gets dropped, even going to be dropping the Solar Guardian. And Lil gets himself the double kill. Wish coming in, he already has the blink there. The laser comes through onto Vincento. Vincento has to go for the Sakuchi way, Spartan blinks himself forward, and now the Sakuchi does work for Spartan, maybe putting himself in a little bit of a tricky situation, the tower will get the kill, as the familiar stun up onto low skill, back lines though, can he get the dismember off onto 11, 11 can he get himself away, he absolutely cannot, Wish, trying to do his best, blinking around, throwing out these heat seeking missiles, he's just, <laughs> he says thank you very much for the ancient stack, hook now onto the Queen of Pain, Arena comes out, they're going to be able to trap two, and he's already gone for the blink here, Spartan. Well, the Solo Guardian isn't going to be able to keep Spartan alive. It's not going to be, but they're going to be able to get a really nice double there onto the Starbreaker now as well. Dawnbreaker, can he get himself out of the Spamba? Nah, he's going to die in that. The hook does miss. Nefret. Maybe trying to come in to make something happen here. Backlands Vincento is going to get really down low. The snake bouncing around. Low skill losing out on a little bit of mana. It's going to be three heroes down here, though. 11. Well, the TP co completes. What's he going to be able to do? Do they want to move? I mean, there's four heroes down here now. Eleven. Going to be scouted out by the way, but the swarm gets dropped. They're trying to go for the tier one as well as chase that one down. Hook. Going to be off the mark. Eleven. Arena does come out, spears into it. Solo Guardian is going to be used. Is it going to be enough to keep the Visage alive? Celestial Hammer now into the Star Break. And the Sonic Wave comes through. They clean up Bloody Sky, but Eleven will go down. Stone Gaze has been used. Cube trying to get himself away. Point blank. Hook. Spartan not going to be killed off. The low skill trying to run himself away, but there's going to be the recharge coming through from Wish. With the heat seeking missiles, Wish does pick up the kill. And Vincento only Weaver in with the swarm. Eleven. Is he gonna be able to get himself away? Lil's on the back lines. Wish. 
Gets the kill onto Cuba, and Sentinel's going to be able to get himself out here as well with the spear back onto Lil Lil. Just goes for the TP. No, the God's Mute comes in. The, the Nimbus gets dropped now as well. So the reveal of the Aghanim Scepter here for the Zeus. Thunder God's Wrath to finish off the kill. He'll be able to get himself away from this because there's going to be a rotation in from Cubes. The Spartan needs that blink. It's only going to be up in the next couple of seconds. So the hook comes back. Should be able to, will be able to do the damage. Mars, meanwhile, being damaged by the three cores on the side of Braim. He lays it down. Shields don't stop lasers as Wish. The Nimbus comes out, so he's going to try and go for the TP once again, but he's just going to be still inside the Nimbus. Soul Guardian is going to be right back into a point blank hook. The Dismember catching out the Dawnbreaker, who gets broke herself, and now Nefret. Is Cube going to go towards the, the, beat, the, the blink? 11 moves in, so Nefret has something to Phantom Strike away to with a spell lamp. Meanwhile, low skill gets spotted out. There's going to be the stone foam coming through now as well. Do they have the damage to take low skill down? There is the outpost up, so there's a TP potential coming in from the side of Ivy. It's going to be at least one hero. The hook comes through. It's going to split the wickets. As the star break, it doesn't actually get the stun up here onto low skill. Now the dismember, they're going to be able to turn this around onto the dawn break. Dawn break, though, pops the mechanism. But so they want to carry on going here. Thunder God's Wrath does get used. Moby pops the haste and wish in the trees, but the Nimbus is on top of him. Wish will go down. 11. Shouldn't be able to get himself out of this there as well. Going to be the double kill coming through from Vincento. Sonic Wave, dude, have the damage to take him down. Going to be blinking from Bloody Sky, though. Gets that return kill out, and the, even the arena is going to be dropped here. This might be a full five man wipe going the way of Ivy. Nefrit, can he get himself away? He's got nothing to Phantom Strike away to. Now he throws the dagger out. Yeah, the damage will be enough from Bloody Sky. Triple kill for Bloody Sky, and a full five man wipe for Ivy. Gold after the camp. But do they want to try and force something out here? The hook is going to miss, and Nefrit going to be able to walk away from this. Backlines. Oh, what can they do? Because there's going to be the Solar Guardian coming out onto 11, but the hook comes back, and 11 going to be taken care of, even the arena being dropped here, to make sure no one can come in to support him. The chase out, Thunder God's Wrath gets used, and Lil is going to be able to get himself away from this. The Nimbus gets dropped, Nefrit does have that second life. Buyback comes through from the Visage. Do they want to try and chase this? Sonic Wave on the back lines, but Spartan, is he going to be able to get himself away? He's not. Killed off. Does have that buyback available now. The chase on Starbreaker can come through, but Vincento's going to be able to get himself away. He has been revealed by the dust, and the time lapse comes out, and low skill gets the kill. That's a dieback there on the Visage side of the map. Maybe trying to hunt out an effort. Arena comes through. They're going to be able to get onto Wish once again. Nimbus is going to be there for the damage, and even Eleven being trapped inside this arena. Eleven gets taken down. Moby not landing that hook. But again, 14 flashy charges, no real items here to speak of. And Pudge is having a great time in this. Wish has to blink away from low skill. Low skill is going to sit on top of the high ground, trying to pop out these heat seeking missiles. Vincento comes through. Are they going to be able to set up? Nimbus is going to be there onto Wish. Wish not going to be able to use that defense matrix. Still gets to blink away. The Spartan's out now as well, but the drive back onto Nefrit. Nefrit, that was the Aegis. And he's going to be grouped up with five. In fact, he can go for the arena into the spear now as well and just instantly lock down the Phantom Assassin. Low skill onto the tier 2 tower. Back lines. Two heroes alive. It's like... They're going to be able to get the blink onto Moby. Moby is a BKB pop by Nefrit. Can they do the damage? They're going to be able to get the refresher out. Did he get the second drop though? Bloody Sky pushed back by that Sonic Wave. So they at least get the kill onto the Zeus now. Stone Gaze, but everybody's running away. Both arenas do miss. Separates out Brame though from the rest of the team. Eleven and Lil. Just having to move themselves away. Nefrit's already back in base. Trying to defend from Megas. The drag back onto 11, though. The hook. Do they have the damage? The Soul Guardian comes out. So it's going to keep 11 alive. They might be able to do with the stun here from the Soul Guardian. It looks like Lil. Is he going to be able to get himself away from this? Wish. Spamming out the heat seeking missiles once again. The bleak away from the Queen of Pain. Spartan trying to do his best. Wish gets the kill onto Bloody Sky. Now the chase. Spartan drag back here. The dismember comes out onto Wish. And Wish is going to be able to get himself alive. He's not, but does have that buyback potential if he wants it, which he will. And immediately TPs himself onto uh, 11. Blinks himself out here. Nefret waiting on the back lines. Phantom Assassin doesn't want to go in. 13 seconds towards that BKB. He's just going to go for the TP away. But the Yule Scepter comes out. Phantom Assassin. The reveal is going to be there. This potential for the Death Wish. Going to try and TP and save his teammate here. But Nefret, what can he do? He's just going to be taken away. No buyback. 1200 gold off. He bought out. He bought out looking for the Desolator. The Nimbus gets dropped. But... So does the Rax, and yeah, Megas, or even the hook back onto Spartan was that dismember the damage coming through from the illusions of Medusa, and Cube finds a really another, another really nice kill here. 
Time to go to Wrath, where she's just been right clicked down. The GG gets called, and Brain give Ivy the first win in the last series. Uh, might not be too bad. Uh, going back for the Queen of Pain as well on this team, being able to get the blink jump in with the shard for that two second silence, so 1.75 second silence, and then for an Orchid as well. I have no idea what these lanes are. I have literally no idea what these lanes are. Timbersaw mid against the Abaddon, I guess. Yeah, low skill on the Bristleback, so it is going to be the position one Bristleback. Zento, <laughs> with his quadruple mangoes, should be able to sustain on the lane when he hits that level 2. Gets the, the Nightmare and the Brain Sap for the control. Dodge, onto Lil. It's a first hit bash there as well. Wish does get the first blood. A triple? Oh, disruption in the mid lane, though. Viper going to be in trouble once again. Now the strike does go down. Shadow Demon has that level advantage, but Bloody Sky doing a lot of damage over to the Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon should still tick down to this. He's going to go down. Bloody Sky once again loses out on the XP. Going to go for the courier. And that's the start of the armlet out for the Lifestealer. So he's going to be helmed down for the next minute and a half. Mid lane, charge coming through. Nightmare's going to be here now as well. Can he make a move? Only level 3 onto Cube, but Wish with the... The haste rune should be able to, in fact, he might even be able to turn around onto Cube. Cube could be in trouble. Vincento gets killed off from Wish. The Wish looking for the double kill here. Cube is going to be able to get himself away. The Shadow Poison stacking up. Cube's going to get low. Is it going to be enough? It will be. Wish the charge comes up and Vincento is going to be able to get himself away from the Abaddon. It looks like the charge still connects. There's disruption for the next 11 seconds. So the rotation over from Moby now as well. With that charge coming out, no tree to connect. So he cut his own path, but the damage should still be there. And Wish does get taken down. Vincento does get out alive here as well. Pushing onto that tier 1 tower, low skill, he's just stacking up with us, he's going to be fine. In fact, he might be able to put the aggression up with the creep wave coming through. Oh, the charge onto the Abaddon, Abaddon can he get himself away from this, only level 4, no borrowed time. A Photic Shield does come out, but as I say Spartan, it will be popped. One more right click and Cube gets the kill. Centaur could go for the stomp if he gets on top of Cube. Cube, the back line, so disruption comes out, I think he'll be able to make a move, it looks like Cube. He's going to be able to get himself out alive, he's going to be ticked down and the Lycan does secure the kill. Vincento only level 4, so again, no Fiend's Grip. Lil, what's he going to be able to do in level 4? No time lapse drill. Looking for the Sakuchi, but should still tick down. The poison attacks should be enough and low kill. Second or so, but they're going to try and make a dive. Can they get the Nether Strike off? It is up now and low skill. The Purge comes out, so he's going to be slowed down. The Fiend's Grip even going to be able to connect now as well. to the Lycan, the Lycan, even in this wall form, is he going to be able to get himself away? Disruption from Wish, trying to keep the Lycan alive, and Lycan's going to be alright with the Photic Shield and Wish with the TP. No, the Bash! Cube going to be able to keep Wish locked down. <laughs> Wish, even with the cheeky tip. Wish, one more right click. Cube does pick up the kill. Eleven comes back in. SSA Spartan, only level five, so no borrow time just yet. Gets taken down by the Quill Spray. And low skill, does he want to carry on going here? Because Eleven's still in this form, which does wear off back lines. Time lapse for Lil. Well, they might be able to top this Roche with a kill. Fiends Whip comes out. Spartan, the charge comes in now as well. That Photic Shield immediately breaks. And Lifestealer into the Nether Strike after the Fiend's Grip wears off. Really easy pick up here for Ivy. Timber Chain comes out here as well. And low skill. He gets a second. He gets an unstoppable streak. And he gets the momentum moving in favor of Ivy. Pushing through. Just stacking the wave. The charge. Onto the bottom lane. I mean, you look as well. Ivy have only lost one tier one tower throughout this entire game. 22 minutes in. The TP now though, they know the Bristle's back's not here, so they might try and go. Vincento's easily going to be cleaned up. What can he get out of this disruption? Onto Bloody Sky. Bloody Sky's going to be deleted super quick. Wish. Shout out to Spartan. Spartan's already used that borrowed time. He's going to be able to force staff himself down the cliff, and it looks like Cube's going to be stuck onto the. Now the strike comes out three heroes around. They're going to be able to get a lot of damage onto the Spirit Breaker, even get the kill onto him. Moby with the Agonim Scepter. He's going to be able to get the double chakra mark, but Wish is going to be able to get himself away. He's absolutely not. 11 trying to do the best he can. Bristleback going to try and stand, but he still gets killed off. Nefrit secures that kill onto the Bristleback, and now Moby going to be left with the Fiend's Grip, but the right coming through from Bloody Sky. Fortic Shield. Nefret though, the bash is a charge, comes right through Spartan in the pit. He does have that borrowed time up in five seconds, gonna get himself away. Four seconds, four staff away. Rain, four kills, two buybacks, the charge. Onto the Weaver, do they have the lockdown for him? He's got the time lapse, the Yule Scepter now as well, so he should be able to get himself out safe if he needs it. Yeah, the time lapse back, because he's gonna be into the Nether Strike. And the cleanup there, onto the Weaver. As Cube, he charges four staff though, he gets disrupted. Spartan, does he want to harass out Cube? Cube, trying to run himself away in that sh with the phase boots. Like an... Oh, what's this going to be? Oh, going to go for the shapeshift, trying to run himself up into this fight. Now, they do get the Fiends Grip onto Nefer. It was that wolf bite. Eleven's just come in as a... Uh, straight into it, maybe? 
Doesn't matter. They've absolutely deleted the life stealer. And now the borrowed time comes up and Spartan will be gonna chase. As I say, Spartan, what can he do? Because Cube is gonna come through. And yeah, the right clicks from Viper now as well. Bloody Sky gets the kill. Oh, Spartan's gonna come out inside the Glimmer Cape. Still be caught out there. The vision from the, the sentry. Spartan, though, does have the borrowed time up. So they might try and chase. Now, it comes through with the wolf form. Who's he gonna try and go on here? Bloody Sky takes one right click. Is it gonna be enough? Does he have to go for more of this? It's the theme trip now. Onto Nefra, but it looks like he might be able to get himself out. So the chase onto Bloody Sky, Bloody ha Sky has to blink himself out, 11 going to be chasing now onto the Bristleback, Bristleback has been broken once again, 11 getting himself away just to make sure he doesn't die. So low skill, trying to turn around, looking for a fight, that's going to be Cube dead for the next 70 seconds. Four and a half minutes onto this, they've got an ancient Black Dragon, the charge comes out onto Nefrit, connects and Cube immediately has to run himself back and shapeshift comes out onto Nefrit there with a wolf bite. Vincento in the trees, but there's going to be the blink here from Wish, they find out Vincento. And the refresh from the refresher shard comes through. They get the kill, the back lines though. He might be able to take down the Lycan. No, the Lycan uses the cheese, keeps himself alive. And that's going to be a second lane of racks. Brain absolutely taking over this base at the minute. Going to be slowed down. Can they get onto the Bristleback now as well? He's hexed up. The break comes through from Nefret. Nefret has to turn and run. Fiend's grip onto him. Was that another wolf bite? It is. But doesn't matter. He gets taken down. He gets the kill onto. Moby though, Moby gets taken down. Nefric just wants to continue pushing into this base. Yeah, three and a half minutes on the Aegis. Charge coming through, it's gonna connect onto the back lines, onto Wish, but Cube, what can he do? Four stuff away, SSA Spartan has that borrowed time, it has to pop. Cube's gonna be able to go for the Nether Strike onto Wish, but Wish, BKB, or just the, the magic community here on the Spirit Breaker. Disruption, trying to keep Wish alive. The Nightmare was use Wish. Taking down Observer Wars just to make it a little bit hard to spot. And there's no buyback here for Cube anyway, so he's not going to be able to spot the back lines. He get the kill onto the Viper. Viper has to buy back into this fight. Now the Blink Forward Wish with the Disruption. They're going to be able to lock down low skill, yes. Takes as long of this Wolf Bite as they can, yeah. So he's going to be out of the Wolf form, but he, it doesn't mean he's not going to stop chasing the buyback. So that's Bloody Sky on a dieback now as well. Chasing back, right back into the Fountain. The Break onto the Bristleback. They get... The fourth, they get the fifth, they get the game, and Brain will either win a game, but they don't win the full match. They go out of the D2CL without winning a match. The Brain, they finish two and four. Not enough.